The community of Wadville Pinoni are up in arms after the disappearance of a four-year-old girl. Mukhabupo went missing on Monday afternoon. She was last seen playing in the park. The search for the girl took a drastic turn when community members discovered a mutilated body in a lake nearby. The woman, it's an old lady that found us yesterday and tell us that uh, inside his yard, he found the leg of a child. So all the community were around them. We found the leg. So um, after we found the leg, it was only a leg. So the, all the upper body was not there. And then later on, in about 10 minutes, five minutes, um, there's someone also who called the community and said, please come here. We found the upper body of a child. Also, the, the body that we found down there, it was a body of a child. So now what we're still waiting for to confirm if the child and the, the, the body, the upper body that we find with the leg, it's, it's matching. So uh, we're still waiting for the police to do their job and then probably they'll tell us. Even now we're not, uh, the biological father of, uh, of the missing baby, I think he, he sent me the message 114A to check if uh, the body that we found is not their missing baby. So we're still uh, searching. Even now with the community, we're still going to search around. CCTV footage captured the young girl approaching a shop while a man is seen in the distance. The family believes the man abducted her. Residents assaulted a man who they accused of being the kidnapper. He was then rescued by the police. Meanwhile, Tulufelo Po, the girl's mother, said she's trying to stay positive. Is she eating? Well, how is the type of child when she cries? It hits, it hits home. You, you feel it. You, when she screams, you feel it. So when I saw that foot, I, I just lost it. Like, but after a while, after people were coming me down, I hoped it better not be her. And after I saw the foot, that was not my daughter. My daughter is still alive. It's been devastating. It hasn't been easy. I'm having sleepless nights, you know. And I only get to sleep around about 5 a.m., you know, because there's a worry and there's a hope that you might get a phone call that she's here, you know. And my phone has never stopped ringing. Some people are just people that just calling to check on how you are. But obviously, we want to hear voices of people that say, hey, man, we found her, we have this and that and that. And so it hasn't been easy. Three days of sleepless nights. The guy that has my daughter is still out there. My daughter is with a guy that earned her trust. I mean, if you look at the video, I can't pinpoint exactly who that guy is, but if you look at the video, my daughter is walking alongside the guy, jolly, as if the guy had mentioned in my name or mentioned someone that she knew, you know. She had a bit of trust to be following a stranger in a street where she's never set foot. She knows her way back home. But somehow there was a connection between that guy and my daughter. That guy knew my daughter. My daughter, whatever he said to her, my daughter kind of knew that guy. The guy that they think is the one, it's not, definitely not the one. The guy that has my daughter still has my daughter.